We've done some CAT 6A testing, uh, really doing some real life uh, throughput simulations. What we've been able to do is run a worst case configuration. It's called six around one. This is what six around one looks like. You've got one cable in the middle called the disturbed cable and six cables bundled around it. These are called the disturbers. This is a worst case scenario that really tests the ability of a cable construction to limit alien crosstalk. In the Annixter lab tests, this six around one bundling is done throughout a full channel, including connecting hardware. 10 gigabit ethernet traffic is then run over every cable in that channel, and the throughput and error rates are measured. For the CAT-6 test, we created a total of seven 55 meter channels for the six around one setup. 55 meters is the longest length specified in the IEEE 10G base T standard when using CAT-6 rated cabling systems. For the CAT-6A test, each of the seven channels is 100 meters long. Here are the results using six around one with the CAT-6 rated cabling system. We start with just one of the disturber channels connected, now two, now three, now four. With a total of four disturbers in the test setup, you can already see the alien crosstalk introduced by the disturber channel has coupled into the disturbed channel and has reduced its throughput to zero. We don't really need to go any further, but let's go ahead and add the last two disturber channels. Throughput on the disturbed channel has been eliminated due to the number of CRC errors measured as a result of the alien crosstalk in the CAT6 cabling system. Now we'll do the same test with 100 meter CAT6A channels. Again, we'll start by connecting just one of the disturber channels. Now two. We'll keep this up all the way through six disturbers. Not much change in throughput or error rate. Alien crosstalk is not affecting the test channel at all. We'll do this same test again, except this time, instead of just running test data through the disturbed channel, we'll run a video signal. Again, we'll start with the CAT6 channel and start adding the disturber channels. We only get to four disturbers before the video signal completely locks up. And now the CAT6A test. To save time, we'll go straight to all six disturbers in play. There is no degradation at all in the video signal. Because video is time sensitive, it's highly affected by even the smallest number of errors, and even in the worst case six around one scenario, the CAT6A cable passes the test. So while the IEEE allows CAT6 to be used in 10 gig applications, this test proves you should install nothing less than CAT6A.